Hey y'all, it's Chelsea here. Thank you for clicking on the video. And as you can see by the title, yo girl is pregnant. <laughs> yes, ma'am, I am pregnant. Um, you know, I've been pregnant for quite some time. I do want to tell you guys how far along I am because I do want to document the rest of my pregnancy. For the duration of my pregnancy, I do want to document the rest of my pregnancy um so i am 29 weeks <laughs> um i will be 30 weeks pregnant in a few days um and i cannot even freaking believe that the time has flown by like this like it's flown by y'all <laughs> um so i just want to document how my pregnancy has been so far so how I found out I was pregnant okay so um, for me finding out that I was pregnant it, it was not a big surprise you know it wasn't like a, oh my gosh I have no idea that I was pregnant and then I just found out I was pregnant and I'm like how could this be like no like <laughs> I know it's a lot of people like that but I'm like how because I'm like girl I'm like girl <laughs> You know what you was doing, boo. Um, like, what did you think? Like, you thought you couldn't get, okay. But I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> so with me, I have been off of birth control for a year. Um, Dion and I were using other preventative uh, measures to not get pregnant. But this one particular day, we was in a moment. We was, you know, off our super in love type of thing or whatever and um it went down it went down okay and <laughs> the next day after it went down Deanna and I would joke about it and be like yeah so you know I'm one day pregnant and stuff like that but what I didn't know is I actually was one day pregnant but I did know it was a strong possibility. And the reason why I knew it was even a stronger possibility for me is because I do have a period tracker on my phone. And you know how, ladies, you know that period trackers will also tell you when you're ovulating, like when's the best time to have sex or whatever if you're trying to get pregnant. But I strictly use mine for a period tracker um, to track my periods. Anyway, so the next day after we did the do, okay, I checked my period tracker and it said that I would be ovulating the next day. So I was thinking in my head, me not knowing too much about ovulation and stuff like that, I was like, oh my gosh, babe, if we would have did this tomorrow, I would definitely for sure be pregnant right now like that's crazy he was like what what I was like yes like we did it during ovulation freaking time like who does that <laughs> sorry you guys y'all know I'm pregnant and I am out of breath I used to hear girls talk about that all the time and I used to be like oh my gosh <laughs> wow she's really out of breath but that's my life as well right now so so I started researching and googling like when's when you know how can you get pregnant like during ovulation time what is the best time to have sex in order to get pregnant can you get pregnant the day before ovulation stuff like that and it all was coming out to yeah anytime as close to ovulation as you can get it whether it be the day before which is what we did the day after, you know, maybe even the day after that or the day before that, during the ovulation time, you have a really good chance of getting pregnant. So I kept that tucked in the back of my mind because I was like, okay, I have a really good chance that I could actually be pregnant. But at the same time, it was literally the day after we conceived at this point. So I was still kind of like, nah like I'm not I'm not but I was still I still had it tucked in the back of my mind so I was talking to Dion about it and he was like wow for real and I was like yeah he was like I mean how do you feel 
Did you want to do a plan B? You know, because it, it was a day after, so I technically could. And I was like, no, whatever happens, happens. Like, it's whatever. And he was like, yeah, that's how I feel. So I was like, all right, cool. So anyway, so I also still had my period tracker. So I was just thinking, okay, my period is due in about, I think it was like th two weeks, two or three weeks, give or take. I can't remember my period was due to come on. So <clears throat> my periods are like clockwork. I do not miss a period. I do not, like if anything, it might be a day off or so, but it's nothing more than that. Anyway, so the day that I was supposed to start my period, I'll never forget, it was June 24th. It was a Saturday. I felt all of the feelings that I normally feel when I'm about to start my period. I felt cramping. Um, I felt boob tenderness. Just, and that's normal for me. Anytime I start my period, those are the type of feelings that I feel. Sometimes I get headaches. Like I felt like I was going to come on. So I felt like... Well, babe, guess you were shooting blanks. I literally said that. <laughs> and, you, and we were just laughing about that or whatever. But, yeah, that's what I said. So, um, the first day, it, it didn't come on. And I said, okay, all right. I'm still feeling the symptoms or whatever. So, you know, gave it another day. No big red, no, you know, nothing. I'm like, okay. <clears throat> um, after the second day, I started getting worried because I know myself, I know my body, I know my period, and I'm like, it's normally not. My period tracker is right at this point. I have been using my period tracker for a year at this point. My period tracker is freaking on it normally. So I um, started to get a little worried. But I was like, okay, still feeling the symptoms. Third day. No period. I was like, okay. So I started researching and Googling, you know, could I still be pregnant if it's around the time that my period is supposed to come on? Um, but and I'm still feeling symptoms like I'm going to come on my period, but no period. And they were like, Yeah, that's a that's a sign that you could be pregnant. If you feel like you're about to come on but no period, um, that's a sign. So I was like, Okay, okay. I'm freaking out. I'm not gonna lie to you, y'all. I start, this is when I started freaking out. Like, I was really scared. I was really scared. Um, and Dion can tell you. So anyway, fourth day comes, no period. And at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm freaking pregnant. And I'm scared out of my freaking mind. Like, I didn't know how to feel about it. I've never been pregnant before. Never had a pregnancy scare before. Like... Dion and I were supposed to get married in like two weeks <laughs> and this is when we were just going to get um, our license and like officially married not our wedding our wedding was like a month off but we were getting married in like two weeks and I always you know I, I always thought that we would be married for like a year or so maybe um, before we got pregnant and stuff like that although Dion feel, felt differently like he was he would always tell me he's ready to start his family. Always. He would always tell me that. But anyway. So, um, I kind of accepted I was pregnant at this point. Fifth day, no period. Okay. What's, what's good? What's, what's really good? Because I, I, this is not a coincidence. Like, this would be a hell of a coincidence. You know what I mean? So, um, they said the best time to take a pregnancy test is after a full week after your missed period. So, um, when it had been seven days, a full week after my missed period, I took the test and bam, I was pregnant. I got one of those digital clear blue tests um, that say pregnant or not pregnant because I didn't want to have to fool with those lines. You know, sometimes they have like a strong line and then a faint line, but you're still pregnant. Or sometimes I ain't have time for that. So I said, I'm about to get me the digital test that's gonna tell your girl straight up pregnant or not pregnant. Okay. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all the pregnancy test. Hold on one second. Okay, y'all. So this was the test that I got, the clear blue digital. And as you can see, sorry, to this day, it still says pregnant. Like, I don't think it's ever gonna go away. <laughs> Cause this was saying pregnant <laughs> since 
I guess late June, early July, and it's still staying pregnant. So, <laughs> took that, and I was like, okay, I'm pregnant. Okay. Um, <laughs> then about a few days later, I said, let me just take a second one to be sure. I don't know where the second one is, or this could be the second one. I don't know, but I got another one <laughs> somewhere in my bathroom that still says pregnant as well. So, I knew I was pregnant. Um... I'm not gonna lie, I was scared. Um, you know, I just started a new job. I don't particularly like the job. Um, it pays me well, but it does stress me out. I am, you know, looking for another job um, and everything. And, you know, I, I, was, I was scared. And I'm gonna touch on more so I'm gonna touch on in another video with Dion. We're gonna do a video um, explaining what our reaction was to me being pregnant. We're not gonna do it right now, but so, yeah, I was pregnant. Um, I went to the doctor um, about a couple weeks later and I started all of my, you know, pregnancy appointments and things like that. So, so far, my pregnancy has not been bad at all. I cannot complain. Um, my first trimester, I did not have any morning sickness. Sometimes I will feel nauseous, um, but not to the point of throwing up. Um, I felt really, really tired, um, but I felt tired anyway sometimes. Um, so I don't know. I'm sure the pregnancy played some type of part in it constipation very much so even to this day but I struggled with constipation um before pregnancy so yeah <laughs> um but yeah the prenatal pills I take them every day I have not I'm good at taking pills I like even with my birth control I like never missed a time when I was on that I'm good at remembering to take them you know as long as they're in my bathroom I remember to take it um, so I take those every day. The iron pills do make you constipated. Um, like I said, my first trimester, I just remember feeling a little bit of nauseous sometimes and I remember feeling tired. Um, but other than that, I still got up, went to work every single day, didn't throw up, nothing. It was, it was nothing major. It was sometimes that during my first trimester, that I would forget that I was pregnant <laughs> because I didn't even, I didn't really feel too much differently. My second trimester that I just recently ended, same way, it's just my second trimester. I obviously, especially towards the time where we found out the gender, which I'll do a um, gender reveal with Dion when we found out the gender. Um, Around that time is when I started to show. So around 20 weeks is when people started noticing like, okay, girl, yeah. <laughs> like, okay, girl, we see you. You know what I mean? Around 20 weeks. So I was about five months um, pregnant. Now, you know, I, I feel very much pregnant. Um, <laughs> I, I feel big <laughs> and all of that, but I cannot complain. Like I've seen people deal with skin discoloration, things like that. I haven't dealt with that yet. I forbid, knock on wood. I know to expect the dark circles and areas and I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, stretch marks. Right now, I don't have any stretch marks, but I do know that it is a possibility that I can still get them. Um, because some people were saying they didn't get it until they were um, deeper into their 30s, 30 weeks, um, 29 weeks. So, it may come, and if it does, it does. Um, I have been oiling up my belly um, to try and prevent stretch marks the best as possible. Um, so, what I use, in the beginning, I used coconut oil and shea butter. But it wasn't pure shea butter. I couldn't find that. It was just like a regular shea butter body butter. So I was mixing um, organic coconut oil and shea butter. Literally when I was like six weeks pregnant is when I started oiling up um, my belly, my boobs, 
my butt, <laughs> my thighs, all of that stuff to try and prevent stretch marks as much as possible. Um, I later went on to baby gel stuff, the baby gel. Um, Dion had got that for me. That's really moisturizing. That's been good. And now I'm just using literally Johnson's baby oil, which is really moisturizing to me as well. So I didn't go out and get like some of the, you know, like really, really organic oils that people have been using. Because honestly, stretch marks are like 80% genetic from what I've read. So, I mean, you can't prevent them too much if you're going to get it, but you can you know do something about it but yeah so i've been doing my baby oil my boobs have grown <laughs> everything is growing at this point i'm 29 weeks i'm getting into like you you pregnant from real now girl you ain't you ain't baby pregnant you 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 grown up pregnant like you real pregnant so that's how i feel right now um not gonna lie i haven't been doing too much exercising because of my work schedule um, I wish I could be like some of these YouTubers, stay at home, just do YouTube full time, and they have all this time to exercise and eat right and all that crap, but, yeah, that's not my life right now, but, um, I do want to incorporate getting some exercise and stuff like that, I do feel stiff and things like that a lot these days, um, now that I'm into my third trimester, so. Yeah, guys, so, <laughs> surprise, I am pregnant, um, so I did want to update you guys because from now on, a lot of my vlogs, I'll be mentioning being pregnant and how that's going and stuff like that, so, oh, and one more thing, I'm sorry, y'all, I forgot, I did, I have not shown you guys my bump, so I do want to show you guys that, so, um, okay, so, this is my... Bump, my baby bump, and that's my bump from the side. So, yeah, so that's it, guys. So, I did just want to make sure I show you all that. So, once again, thank you for watching. Click, click that thumbs up button and that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>